Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, test, radio test, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Now here's quite an interesting little device. This is the KV4P HT. And if you look at the back of that, it's just a bare board with a, a sticky pad underneath it. This is designed to stick to the side of an Android phone and then using this little USB-C bridge, connect it to it. And that's how this radio operates. It's fully Android uh, ham radio on VHF, so two meters. This does FM radio as well as some simplistic APRS message decoding and sending, uh, which we're gonna take a look at. Let me show you how really fast how to build this because Get this, it's about $35 for all the parts, uh, including this custom PCB, which you will have to contact a PCB printer to have this made, uh, but $35 for four components, including the PCB, and then of course your 3D printed case. This is a really cool little radio, and it, it shows, I think, the ingenuity that's coming out in a lot of kit builders and software developers for bringing phone integration into amateur radio. So let's take a look. As usual, I have put uh, way too much solder on the board, but these pads are so big, and the slots for the solder are massive on the, the module board that we're soldering, so I'm, I'm not really worried about it. It'll be fine. Now this is a surface mount board, but by no means do you have to do this surface mount, but I like to break this out whenever I can. How's that? Part one is done. Maybe I should do solder paste for my like circuit boards. Yeah? I have like empty circuit boards if you want to use them. I got got empty project that you need like a circuit board. I got empty circuit things. boards. Gonna add a bit of flux here. Sometimes I use advanced holding techniques with a PCB vise and all that stuff. You, you don't need it on this. You can just lay it flat and it'll work just fine. So if you're generally applying heat to the base of the PCB, and the pin coming through the hole, then you'll end, always end up with like a really good solder joint. It'll apply the heat correctly. Yeah, we're locked in, it's gonna be great. Last solder spot here yeah, is our SMA boy that goes up top here. Now the SMA, you do have to like position this correctly. So what I do here is uh, just use a little bit of solder Tack one part of it into place and without holding on too long, right? Because the heat does collect on these um, pieces pretty quickly. Just kind of like eyeball it. And then if it's a little crooked, just touch the, the tip to it. So it liquefies the solder again, and then just uh, adjust it. But uh, you may actually want to put an antenna on if you got a nice metal connector antenna uh, for you to hold on to while you do it and then heat this up a lot and get the solder all the way around it. I'm told that's all there is to it. We're done. That's the whole kit and caboodle right there. Then we take our 3D printed case that KV4P provided here and we pop it in. Oh, oh, we did, we got a cut. That's right, we got to cut the pin headers. Hold on. The best way to do this is to come in with your diagonals, your diagonal cutters, and I put my finger over the edge of where I'm cutting and then just snip and it will launch into your finger. Oh, that just cut me. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, buddy. You want to cover these though because they will fly off into your eye bulbs, okay? Like it's literally embedding into the foam here. So yeah, make sure you're using uh, some covers. Uh, so use some safety glasses, whatever you need to do, because you don't want these uh, spoiling your day and your life. Throw the case onto this. And then our USB-C bridge goes right okay. there, like uh, so. 
Now I need to program the firmware. Now this is a beta release of the Android software as also this PCB is also in development. In fact, there is a new version of the PCB coming out to help with the harmonic suppression. This is a spurious emissions free radio as far as it meets the FCC standards, but KV4P believes he can do even better. Now the only issue I ran into with this was actually the website URL. If you take the website URL I have below, unaffiliated, nothing like that, it just takes you to the right website to use the firmware flashing capability effectively. You will plug this into your computer, USB-C, and then you'll click the flash button and you'll be presented with a pop-up screen. That pop-up screen will match a CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. Once you see that in your little pop-up screen off of the website, you can click flash, follow the simple instructions, and it'll load the firmware onto this radio and then that's all you have to do. Make sure you affix this to the back of your Android, plug in the USB-C, and then you should be able to run the app. This has a pretty interesting APRS function in a texting sense. So if you hit the text chat and then type in just test for instance. Sure, let's go with test and bring this down. And if we're on the same frequency, which, okay, let's change that. And if we send it, you get a test from KI6NAZ. Yes, I'm using my e-ink Android. It'll look much better on a color screen. But it goes both ways too, so I believe you can just beacon. And there it is, it took it a second. October 14th at 10, at 19.14. Yep, it got it right there. There's your, there's the beacon. But let's hear how it sounds. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu test. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu test, radio test. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. Setup for this is quite simple. Uh, the way I do it is I, I take out the little U piece here and I put it on the bottom and then I will insert the cable or the, the plug with a tilt to it so it's not touching the adhesive. Get it all the way down on the phone and then line it up on the back so it's square and then just squish it home. This adhesive is not a permanent solution but it seems to work just fine. Now this is a fairly non-standard kit in that you do have to buy the individual components and the specialized PCB. Soldering it is very straightforward. Even though that large board is a surface mount, it's really easy to just use a pencil soldering iron, tap a little bit of solder on one side, getting it lined up, and then just filling the rest of the slots. And that's literally all you're doing. You're just filling the slots with solder. Now, at $35, this is a really fun little experiment, and it, it works perfectly well. One watt is not a whole lot of power, but, you know, for playing around with your phone and being able to do what this is doing, which is a really fantastic kind of entry into not only kit building, but possibly open source software development for radios. It's really, really fun. So go take a look at the KV4P if you are interested. The link is in the video description. And if you enjoyed this video, drop me a comment below. Give me a like and subscribe if you have not already. I am Josh, KI6NAZ73.